Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nisa and please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell. Everything I have a link to will be linked to down in the description. And also, don't forget to follow me on my social medias. The link to my link tree will be down in the description as well. And let's get right into the video. So I'm going to start off by pushing her cuticles back with the cuticle pusher. And then after this, I'm going to go in with a football looking um cuticle bit and go around her cuticle area i did it in forward and reverse but i'm pretty sure you guys are only gonna see one way now i'm going in with a 180 grit sanding band and I'm just removing the shine from her natural nail. So now that I'm done removing the shine from her natural nail, I went ahead and dusted her nails off and went in with some alcohol and really cleansed um, the nails off. And now I'm going in with these teeny tiny tips. You can get them off of Amazon and they're really good for anyone who likes um, short nails. Of course, she's like 12 or something. So her nail beds are really tiny still so these tips help me not have to cut down so much but i do notice that they can be um a little bit on the wider side sometimes so just be careful with that and it kind of is a little bit hard to grab these tiny tips so be careful with that and they are a little bit difficult to glue down sometimes because they are so small so just try not to glue um your fingers to the nails or your person who you're working on um so yeah that's the only thing with that but these tips are really really cute and we do cut them down even more after this and i'm just using a regular tip cutter and then i will be back for the next step in the process i forgot to mention that when i was gluing the nails down i was also dipping them in the monomer next to me to help the glue set up faster now i'm going in and wiping the nails with alcohol and this is kind of like dehydrating the nails and getting off any of the excess oils and it's also going to cleanse the surface of the nail sorry if you can hear my mom downstairs but i'm using jcbd concepts monomer jcbd concepts primer and strawberry milkshake from bomb nails and i'm also going to be using the jcbd concepts clear and i'm going to go ahead and do two coats of primer with jcbd concepts primer and then I'm going to go ahead and add a clear base layer. You guys are going to see exactly how I do it. And I will be back later on. My acrylic brush i'm using an acrylic size 12 brush no size 10 brush i believe and i don't believe that this brush is crimped and it is from balm nails and um if you guys are wondering why i didn't show you guys the filing portion of 
like the tips um it's because i didn't file them because when the nails are really really short you're already pushing it on length so you don't want to remove too much in your filing like at the beginning so you kind of want to stick to um filing it after the acrylic is all applied and this is only on super short like baby nails like these um uh, well i don't want to say baby nails but like super short nails um if you're doing them on anyone because it'll help kind of keep your link just a little bit and so i'm showing you guys this hand sorry her other hand was in the way but you guys it was really hot in the garage that day so the acrylic was drying i mean the other hand you can see it still looked pretty good um but it just wasn't giving what it needed to give and i did not want to encapsulate these nails and so um the other hand i tried to do like a one bead method which is what i would typically do um for this length of nails on her and it works out just fine for me and i keep it nice and thin so i don't have to do too much filing um but it's not paper thin to where the nails are going to break and it just was not working with the one bead so now i'm just doing like a two bead method and then if i need a little bit extra i'll go ahead and add some also that's why i said to do a thin clear base layer like i do it on all my other sets it's just very important that that layer is thin so when you go ahead and apply your color um it does not interfere because sometimes if you're thin clear base layer is not so thin um you'll have to file the nail down because it added a little bit of bulkiness underneath and so you're trying to file the top of the nail um like finish file it get it the way you want it and you have to go a little bit more into the nail which is going to remove some of that color because that underneath is so bulky so just if you're going to do a thin clear base layer Keep it super thin. That is very important, but don't make it so thin to where you can't control your product. And then like there's a clear acrylic seeping on the sides of the nail and then the nail is lifting because of that because that was my issue for a very long time. Sorry about the shadow. She was really looking at the nails um, from her side. And yes, I will be back once it's time for filing. So I'm back before the nails are technically filed, but y'all look what she did to this thumb. She absolutely just wrecked her thumb. I literally don't know how she did. I think she bumped it on her phone or something, but I'm going to start off by going in with the sanding band and I'm just going to go ahead and go around her cuticle area just to make sure there's no acrylic on it. And you guys, because it didn't encapsulate this is kind of a softer powder when it dries but it's not like flexible and gummy or overly soft so when you file it you don't need to do too much filing on it you know what i mean because it's the sanding band it's a 180 grit so it'll take it down pretty good um it is a fine sanding band so it's not gonna do too too much but you can take down a good amount with the sanding band and you want to be careful around the cuticle area because you can um, cause a heat spike and same thing on the um, other parts of the nail. You can cause a heat spike, but um, I'm not trying to do too much filing because there's not too much to file. I'm pretty sure this is the hand that I was like, oh, I don't really like, but you guys, you see the application is actually not that bad. Like I recovered 
so yeah that's like the the main part i figured out what was the issue and then i kind of fixed it but you guys look like it looks pretty good yeah this is the hand i did first because like look at the thumb but i really had to do some filing on this thumb just because i felt like the back was kind of bulky and of course i had to blend in the messed up area and you guys look how easy it was to file those nails and then if i really wanted to i can go in with my panda 5 and one drill bit around the cuticle area but i didn't feel like there was a need to and now i'm hand filing with a 100 180 grit hand file and it's the half moon shape i think that's what it's called and i'm just going around the cuticle area one more time but very carefully and i'm just smoothing the surface of the nail just to make sure everything is nice and even i kind of just wanted scratch marks um everywhere just to make sure everything was even then after this it's time for the design also remember at the beginning where i said i didn't file the tips because after the acrylic is applied that's like the main um filing portion and so you really do want to go in and straighten these tips out while you're here or it's going to look crooked um i'm pretty sure i did straighten it on camera but i might not have gotten it in frame but i do buff the nails before going in with the nail art as well and yes i will be back when it's time for the design for real this time Okay, so before you start with the nail art, you want to go ahead and dust and cleanse off the nails. But I'm going in with black and white creation gel polish. But before that, I'm going to matte top coat the nails. And this is Balm Nails Matte Top Coat. And I'm going to go ahead and cure the nails in the lint for a full 60 seconds. After the nails are completely matted out, I'm going to go in with the black and start doing the little um like star or what is it called like the f lens flare type design and i'm going to start off by using a dot from the dotting tool and then i'm going to go in with the get nail 32 um striper which these are still out of stock y'all it's been a while and it's still out of stock so and i've been using it in all my videos and this is an older video um if you guys can kind of tell you probably couldn't but this is from when i first got the um bomb nails nude collection so a couple months ago i think and yeah these are still out of stock and these are really really good brushes so on the on this hand i'm gonna do black and on the other hand i'm gonna do white and of course you can wipe off the design if you do not like it with um some acetone or some um alcohol but if you like the design, go ahead and cure it. And I'm going to cure it for a full 60 seconds in the lamp and work on her other hand once I'm done with this hand. And then after that, I'm going to top coat it.
Well, for some reason, this design looks very easy. And sorry, I was out of frame a little bit, but it is kind of a little bit difficult. If you've done it before, you know. But this is the acrylic creamery top coat, and it's just diamond top coat. And I'm going to be curing it for 120 seconds. Um, if you can't get this top coat, you can go ahead and use the Bomb Nails top coat, Beatles top coat, Model 1's top coat, or whatever your favorite gel top coat is. Just make sure you cure it properly. And like I said, I'm going to be curing this one for 120 seconds. Make sure you don't get any gel on the skin. And if you do, go ahead and wipe it off with a cleanup brush and some acetone. And here are the nails. This is just her white hand. And you guys, she was obsessed. But... I'm going to go ahead and top coat her black hand now and cure it in the lamp again for a full 120 seconds. And then after that, it'll be time for cuticle oil. I'm going in with the Get Nail 32 cuticle oil, and here she is playing with the bottle. Y'all, she was really obsessed with everything, and I was really happy she picked, like, all the colors, and she literally just wanted them plain nude, and I decided to go in with the design, and you guys, look. Here is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and ring the bell. Everything I have linked to be linked to down in the description, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.